Yo dann nie den. Go pee pee. It's 5.20, uh, my alarm went off at five o'clock. Um, surprisingly, I rolled out of bed right away. But um, I am getting up earlier than Bob. He is getting extra sleep. I'm gonna go out in the garage and just do an easy 45 minute run. Bob has a big day today, 16 miles. We both have a 3K swim, um, 45 minute spin, and then we have uh, plyometrics, which is optional. But yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna try to be quiet because the more I try to be quiet, the more loud I am for whatever reason. So try not to stay on here too long. But I'm gonna sip my coffee, eat my piece of toast, and uh, we'll keep people guys posted for the rest of the day on what we're doing. Saucony, Saucony, I never say it right, but these are endorphin speed roll shift. Lots of cushion for my feet because I had plantar fasciitis and it's good for my knee. So that's what I run in, even racing these two. Hey Lou, what are you doing? Morning. Hello. How were your sleeps? Actually really good. Yeah? Yeah. Extra sleep today. Yeah, I only heard Luna falling down the stairs. <laughs> so that was pretty good. Loons. She did fall. <laughs> what you eating? Um, normal pre-workout meal. Dave's killer bread, peanut butter. Actually this really good um, fig, like fig uh, preserves. Um, really tasty actually. Cool. I'll do this, a coffee, some electrolytes. It's a pretty, I think it's an easy swim. I like 3K I think, but like recovery. Yeah, some paddle work. Yeah. So we'll hit that. We're going to go to the pool first. Our pool situation is so all over the place. Um, I think they're only open to 11 or 11.30 today. So I'm going to swim first, come back home, refuel. And then I have a 16 miler sometime today. It's at least not as cold out today, so. Which is good. Right, Luna? Yeah. It's the right on time. For once. A little tight. situation it's not always ideal um, I don't know what it is about this area but the pool facility is either like super shitty or they have um, rules that
that just don't make sense or super limited hours, but we're going to our favorite pool right now. Um, super clean, very nice, like inviting. Has these like glass windows that when it is daytime, like today, um, it's just, I don't know. It puts me in a better mood when I'm in the water and I see the sun. But um, again, super limited hours. There's some days that that pool's not open at all. Um, those days we usually go to LA Fitness just because we can most likely get a lane. Uh, but the last like seven days, LA Fitness pool has been closed for maintenance. Honestly, swimming, while it is like the hardest discipline for me, um, and I think it is for most amateurs, um, just getting there is a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. You might get there and like there's no lane available, so you gotta wait. Um, you might have to share a lane with someone that maybe isn't even there to swim laps. So, I don't know, we, we've kind of been like, if we can't get there or there's something closed, it is what it is. And uh, try not to let it stress us out too much because the more I'm in my head when I'm swimming, the worse, uh, the worse I perform. It's such a technique and form driven sport that I need to feel relaxed when I'm in there. So hopefully uh, Saturdays and Sundays, they're open from eight to 11.30, I believe. Um, I have a couple swim teams that also compete here, so there's always like a roll of the dice if we're gonna be sharing a pool with 35 high school kids. So, really nice pool though. And Chris, who runs the you know the aqua part of of the YMCA down here, she does a really great job. Um, I know lifeguard staffing is really short um, in our area you're not usually swimming at a pool without a lifeguard. I don't know if it's something to do with Pennsylvania or how, um, however the gym does liability and waivers, but YMCA has got to be a lifeguard on duty at all times. <clears throat> so I think that's why there's some limited hours and they can't staff Thursdays. I mean, I'm trying to get Kim to get lifeguard certified. So maybe we have some pool, um, at the YMCA, but she did say I'd get free parking if I ever become a lifeguard. Ooh, free parking! I mean that <laughs> that might be worth it. done uh, 400 warm-up with fins just focusing getting nice and loose um, we have a lot of kicking to do today I think the idea behind this on the weekend is to kind of flush the legs out uh, we're doing a lot of big bike and big run work so flush the legs out a bunch of kicking sets and then finish with uh, 10 by 100s with paddles I like paddle work way faster. Kim likes kicking. Big soccer gal. in my bag so I just need like a bite because I feel a little bit sick but then you can have the rest it's nut free 
big sweetie always thinking of me. It's the first thing I thought of when we got in the car this morning. Didn't bring a snack. I don't think anyone, God, what a loud truck. I don't think anyone understands the importance of the post swim snack. <laughs> This isn't to refuel, this is just to hold me over until we get an actual meal. Yeah, big time. Swimming makes me want to eat everything. So hungry. There you go. I can have the rest. Mm -hmm. I just needed a bite. Helps the nausea, post-workout nausea. For whatever reason. Okay, let's go home. These bars are super underrated. <laughs> Way too small though. Or I'll show you what they are. But it's just enough to hold you over. Made good. These are made good. Made good. I think there is a moo cow hanging out here. So, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. He's gotta be careful out there. Just look at him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't you just love him? Swim's done. Usually, I would just change at the pool and go right uh, and do my run. But um, now that we're kind of getting into some bigger miles, um, I got a 16 mile run today. I decided to come back home, eat again, digest, rest for a little bit because um, I don't know, I like to feel really good for all these key workouts. Like whatever my key session is for the day, I want to make sure I'm fueled, that I'm rested, that everything just feels good going into it, just so I can get the most out of it. Um, these long runs right now, it's just getting miles under my belt and, you know, just getting used to the volume, but um, I still want to feel good. So uh, not eating anything too heavy. We've been getting these uh, oats overnight, overnight oats. But these packets, like they're really handy. Um, 280 calories, five grams of fat, 41 carbohydrates, 20 grams of protein. Um, you're supposed to make it the night before and pop it in the fridge so it has like a better consistency, but um, I usually forget to do that at night. I'm trying to take my time on the weekends with my, with my workouts, unless it's like really prescribed, like a, a run off the bike or uh, something like that, but I want to just take my time. So I'm hitting each session. I feel good about them and I feel like it's a lot less stress mentally like rushing around like, oh, I got to get to the pool. I got to get my run done by 10. I mean, in reality, this is what I want to do. Um, I want to compete at a very high level. So I need to make sure my days are structured accordingly. Um, even if that means taking the whole day to do a few workouts. So going to eat this, rest up, and uh, hit the trail. <laughs>
to Keystone State Park. Beautiful park right up the road from us. Um, beautiful lake here. Uh, we do some open water swimming here in the summertime. Um, but like really nice closed loops here. There's some trails. There's another big loop that's about six and a half miles. Um, just a little, a little hilly. I mean, and by a little hilly, pretty damn hilly. It is Western PA. Looking at my workout here, 16 miles, hilly aerobic run. So goal is just to keep the heart rate aerobic the whole time. So somewhere in that 135 to 145 range. The 145 range being probably when I hit some hill sections. But other than that, we're just getting miles in and focusing on nutrition, fueling as if racing, and all that good stuff. So time is up. 11.15. Say a little over two hours. Should be back here at the truck. Kim might be meeting me with Luna here. So if she does, maybe we can, uh, we'll take her for a little walk through the park here. Go get mom. Oh, you're okay. While Bob finishes up his run, um, I brought Luna here to uh, Keystone State Park and we're just gonna do a little walk. Try not to take her on too much because she's an old girl. She's about 10 and a half and she gets sore so we don't need her limping and hurting. But we can at least see Bobby finish. I think he has six miles left he said. So we'll walk around and enjoy a little sunshine today. It's beautiful out. <laughs> Two more? Two more. Let's do it. How you feel? I feel really, really good today. I don't know if it's just like taking it easy on some other things this week, but I mean, I'm averaging 725 right now. Awesome. Um, just feeling good. Okay, go finish it out. We'll be here waiting. Right, Loons? Don't leave without me. Okay. Done. Done. A little tender. 
You looked a little bit at that last, going up that stretch there. So, 16 miles, 723 average. Average heart rate, 144. <laughs> it's insane. Fucking animal. <laughs> Let's see it. Ooh, this is also, I got the new Garmin Phoenix 7. Look at all these cool new faces. I think Can a you big see it? Shadow. Oh, come on. Yeah, Hold on now. Can you see it now? No. There you go. Can... Yeah, go ahead. Can you even see that? Yeah. I'm trying to avoid the shadow. It's a bunch of cool new data. Ooh, pa average power. That's new. Running power. Power zones, 488 watts. All right. Fucking right. Bunch of elevations. Good work. Maintaining. Thanks, Garmin. Really good run. Proud of you. Not completely done for the day. Um, we do still have, I think, like an easy spin out. Um, but before that, I need rest. I need food. Get horizontal for a bit. That was fun. She's definitely going to sleep for a couple days. Loons, I think you should start running 16 milers with me. Come here. Come here. She listens really well. She's going to talk. <laughs> speak. Hey, Loons. Loons. You guys speak? Ooh. Come on, speak. Speak. Nope, not fired up today. Nope, she's tired. Oh. Let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. Are you all done? Yeah. Disappointed. Hungry. Yeah, so we were just doing a recovery spin. The point of this is to flush out the legs and hopefully wake up Monday feeling a little bit better than just not doing anything. Um, but that just hurt. I probably should have just not done it and just laid down. Um, and I haven't had any like really like whole foods today. Had those overnight oats, some toast, carb powder, gels, and then a protein shake. It's not enough. So I'm kind of like done vlogging for the day. I think I need to just decompress, but um, today was like a really, really good gauge of how busy Saturdays and Sundays really get with us. Um, most weekend training days are swim, bike, run, maybe not in that order, but usually doing all three on both days. Uh, Kim and I are 11 weeks out from Ironman Texas. Kim's first full Ironman, uh, my third but it's been over a year since I've done one. So we are really excited to see what happens over the next 11 weeks. Really excited to see what Kim can do. Um, she's primarily focusing on her swim and her bike right now because um, her knee's still giving her some problems with the run. But we're confident and uh, Natasha, our coach, is confident that we can get her fit enough for the run without even doing a whole lot of running volume so all right one last thing a little like homework assignment for you guys kim and i are starting a podcast we need a really really great name for the podcast it can't just be i mean it can be just bob and kim or kim and bob but I'm trying to find something that encapsulates who we are as people, our passion for life, our passion for helping others, our love for triathlon and fitness and growing a business and our relationship and love for each other. If you guys have any thoughts, it's got to be creative as fuck, okay? Don't, don't put any trash. But if you have ideas, drop them in the comments below. I will read through all of them. Um, that's our limiting factor. As soon as we have the name, we start the podcast. So thanks for uh, taking a little tour of our Sunday chaos. 
Um, it might seem like nonsense to a lot of you, but it just feels right for us. So God bless you guys. Thanks for watching our show and we'll see you next time. See you guys later. Oh, I did try double D's. He doesn't like that one, just so you know. <laughs>